Okay, John, would you like to start by introducing yourself, please? Yes, hello, I'm John Barrow. I'm Professor of Mathematical Sciences here in the Department of Applied Maths and Theoretical Physics at Cambridge University. And I'm also Director of the Millennium Mathematics Project. And I'm a cosmologist. And I'm interested in astrophysics, gravitation physics, and all sorts of other problems in mathematical physics. Mm -hmm. Now, physicists often pride themselves that the laws of <coughs> nature are simple and elegant. But how can it be that a simple law describes the very complex world that we live in? We have to make a pretty clear distinction between the laws of nature and the outcomes of the laws of nature. And one of the miraculous features of the laws of physics is that the outcomes of the laws do not have to possess the same symmetries and simplicities as the laws themselves. And therefore you can have a universe which is governed by a very small number of simple symmetrical laws, but whose outcomes, the solutions of the governing equations of those laws, can be almost unlimited in their complexity and diversity. So this in some sense is the secret of our universe, that the outcomes of the laws of nature do not have to possess the same symmetries as the laws themselves. A nice example is to take something simple like this pen and just balance it vertically uh, on my hand. Uh, if I were to think about what would happen if I let go of the pen, then it becomes subject to the law of gravity. The law of gravity is perfectly symmetrical with regard to directions in the universe. It doesn't prefer that pens fall towards one particular direction in outer space. But when I let go of the pen, even if I did it at zero degrees in a perfect vacuum in ideal conditions, it would always fall in some random direction. And in that falling, it picks out a particular direction which is not a symmetry of the underlying laws. So it's equally likely to fall in any direction. So this really is the key distinction between the laws and the outcomes. Uh, the laws are simple, based on symmetries, and the outcomes are rather complicated and they manifest all sorts of breakings of symmetries.